charge their main force. You must guide the Colossal Archers to the battle. I would be honored to fight beside you. Alright guys, and we're back. We got another troller in place. And so this main part here, as you can see, there are three archers. And... Hey, cool, Prometheus box. Uh, <laughs> let's see. We're just pretty much supposed to guard these guys down this hallway, but then there's going to be tons and tons of ads. So you just have to slowly make your way down and just GPS um, these guys down, and you should be good. But as you can see, this group here is pretty well coordinated. They all have pretty much all T4, so we are just burning these guys down very quickly. Yeah, but as you can see, you know, tons of people are using lots of power, so that guy needs to hurry up. But one of the uh, disadvantages of pugging, you don't really know what's really happening. Probably this guy wasn't really originally a uh, troller and he's just respecting his stats. But yeah, uh, simple, really fun, and it's uh, quite interesting too, is that uh, there was, like, Sony finally did a huge update where it fixed lots of the door glitches, like in Kondak, you know, where you couldn't, uh, you had to stand in a line and walk in, well they fixed that so you can walk in and still have time to, you know, get your teammates together and other things so uh, originally it was bugged where some the archers would not come every now and then so you didn't have to face half of these many guys here and there was also a door glitch where you could actually phase uh, phase through just like FOSS 3 but then um, they fixed that so you can't phase and also FOSS 3 was fixed so you can phase as well so yeah, a lot of people were a little disappointed or mad because of that, but I um, I think it's just a quite you know I think it's nice that they did that because it makes you work more as a team instead of just saying oh okay I died let me just re reface through you know all that so. Yeah, it requires more teamwork instead of just one on one. Alrighty. Alright, cool. Our toy is here. We should gain, be getting more power this time. Let's see what I've got. Controller. Pass. There we go. That's more luck. I can't. Yeah, so... You know, we're even though we have high DPS all that uh, we're just taking it slow you know so no one gets one shotted because right here is a very common place for people to get one shotted the is really interesting is that uh, lots of teams just like the half the group just falls dead for some reason I don't know is is the same amount of mobs and anything but yeah, it's, it's weird. But we're handling it quite nicely, as you can see here. You must go forth there without go. me. My sisters need me elsewhere.
hold the line here. Cece and I will engage the flying swarmers. Destroy any ground forces that try to advance. Do not let any through, whatever the cost. All right, guys. See those four uh, guys in the distance? It shows you how many waves are coming. And so what you're supposed to do is just protect. You're still running your raid. Yeah, I am. Now he's running with the same group. Yep, I am. Oh, wow, that's surprising. Yep. Yeah, but you're supposed to defend this general here from the attacks. But it falls. You can survive, but uh, all those. I mean, like the boss does in the circle there. He will come out early, and it's a hard time to recover. But this team actually. Before I was recording this, uh, we actually had the general die and we still re were able to recover from it. So, yeah. But the m uh, the ideal way of doing it is actually just, um, what do you call it? Just go through the waves and all that. I'll do my secret charge, help these trollers out. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, we're on wave three right now. And so few things is that DPS just make sure to uh, target all the guys once the tank pulls them all in to the center as you can see there um, Lots of AOEs And yeah, the pretty simple fight All right last wave Yeah, this tank is amazing. He's just pulling everything correctly a uh, Ads are, I mean, like, sorry, DPS is just doing their job. Yeah. Now, this is like an ideal raiding group right here. And it's really funny is that, um, is a pug, so that means, you know, um, lots of people from different leagues are on here. It's like Suit Up, um, Devil Corpse, um, Heroes Brazil, like that. So. All right, and so now boss has popped, and so pretty much is a survival. Because uh, one thing though, you had to watch out. You know, he's throwing all these um, hand blasters at you, and he does this little crouch move, just like Sonic Blast, and you just had to roll out of the way if you're close by. Yeah, but it's a pretty much simple tank and spank. So. Alrighty. He's almost dead. There we go. Ooh, I need that. Stolen power will be mine! I will be the master of the flame of change. You will go no further, Circe. Quickly, we must break through the rest of Brainiac's defenses. There's still time to stop him from escaping Themyscira with the flame of change. All right, here is going to be like three doors where you have to destroy them. And then ads will spawn right behind them, like so. Enough of you. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, but pretty much take them out, then move on to the next door. Yeah. Quite easy. As you can see here.
Here's some more. Now this last door here is another spot where lots of teams like to get KO'd right here. For some reason, it's, uh, it's pretty much the same amount of guys, but yeah, I don't know why people get one-shotted. That's weird. You go no further, princess. The flame of change is mine. <laughs> that was epic. All right, so this one is pretty much where we are just fighting Cersei, and there's a pretty much burn and go fight. Uh, if you're a healer, uh, she likes to target you, so just have to watch out um, for your fellow healer. Yeah, and but it's it's not that hard. I guess it's just um, Rafflemen is not really that well geared, but some people complain that she one-shots you, just like that example, but if you have high enough uh, health and stuff it's not that big a deal as you can see like I'm not even having to heal right now like I said, there we go you go no further sorceress I have obtained limitless power. The very essence of magic flows through my avatar. The ultimate adapter will merge with the flame of change. Nothing can stand against me. Engaging enemy. Alright, final boss here is and what we had to burn him down until he reached seventy five percent. Then these statues here will activate and we had to take them out in succession. So we usually start out with the west side or the one closest to the gate. And we just move clockwise in the direction. So, whoops, someone's down. Yeah, that's Ruffleman. Yeah, and he will spawn these circles as you can see on the ground. You know, it's pretty obvious, don't stand in them. Yeah. And it's pretty much wait till the next step and I'll tell you what happens now. Status critical. Ads will spawn later once the statues Threat will pop. Reduced. Like so. Critical damage. Yeah. Overcome all resistance. Minor damage. There we go, we're I was attacking the wrong guy. Critical damage. Minor damage. Status critical. Damage sustained. Systems failing. Performance impaired.
So as you can see, ads have spawned Damage sustained. right here. Systems failing. Minor damage. We need to be taking out the statue. Critical damage. Status critical. Performance impaired. Systems failing. Damage sustained. Status critical. Critical damage. There we go. Flame of change. Grant me the wings of the eagle. Now he Minor damage. goes into a flying mode and just, you know, tornado. But like we, it's pretty much a simple boss battle, you know, just normal. Impaired. So pretty much, I've been repeating, you know, simple. But like, uh, it's just if you know the, if you know how it goes, and you have a good team like this one, it's pretty simple. Pretty much all raids are simple. It's just Damage overall sustained. communication, knowing, knowing everything, how it works, is the key. Systems failing. Magic and logic was to be the catalyst of the final stage. Alright guys, so hopefully y'all enjoyed that. That was a pretty quick tutorial on the gates, you know, that was not really detailed. But that's how you do it, and hopefully y'all enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys later.